Oh. On this edition of the USA Today Network's Virtually There, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Save the day against Alex Ovechkin. Swim with sharks. And travel through amazing Hong Kong. This is going to be Beer League goalie who plays 11 o'clock on Tuesday nights versus Alex Ovechkin, one of the top scorers in the NHL over the last decade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll see, what, we'll see how that goes. Ah. Oh! Woo! I'm all right. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I can react to a you know 45 year old lawyer shooting at me. It's gonna be different with uh, with the with the Ovechkin who does this for a living and is one of the best in the league. Whose idea was this? <laughs> Woo! Here's the thing: when Alex shoots the puck. He understands his shot can kill you. Oh! Woo! I'm all right. You good? Yeah, I'm good. And so he tries to be respectful. Yeah. Sorry about that. No, it's fine. When you're a beer league goalie, you really don't think about facing no. NHL players. You could tell he was going easy on me. Yeah, it's something I'll never forget and never repeat. Likely. Good? Good. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, so okay. How do you compare me to a uh, normal NHL goalie? What would oh. you say? Uh, how far down ladder am I? Not that good. I know. Yeah. Oh, not but, bad. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's not bad. Thanks a lot for your yeah, time, Alex. Thank you. Aloha, I'm Ocean Ramsey, and this is Juan Olafant. Aloha. And you're out with us with One Ocean Diving. Um, we're out in beautiful Hawaii off the island of Oahu. We're over three miles offshore. And if you look down in the water, you can see that we're surrounded by sharks, and that makes us so happy. So what we're looking at today, um, you guys are actually out joining us on a research tour. So what we're going to do is we're going to dive into the water and we're going to collect data on these beautiful sharks and we're hoping to use this information to better protect these guys. You really feel like you're weightless. Kind of that feeling of freedom where it feels like you're connected to everything. Common misperceptions that just because you're in the water with a shark means it's going to eat you. That's obviously not true. If you factor in their biology, physiology, behavior and adapt your behavior, the animals will actually give you a lot of respect and treat you more like an equal predator. Or maybe even a more dominant predator. And then what adds kind of that next level to it is just watching these beautiful, perfect, incredible animals that have been evolving for over 450 million years. Nature just has this absolute perfection in the water. Traditionally in media, that sharks have been portrayed as mindless man-eating machines. Um, and a lot of that has to do with films like Jaws. Scientific reality of sharks is actually that they're extremely cautious. Sharks are basically like the white blood cells of the ocean ecosystem. 
picking out the dead, dying, weak, sick, injured, so disease doesn't spread, so populations are healthy and in balance. I think if more people knew how incredible these sharks are and how important they are, they wouldn't let them be killed at a rate of two to three every second. And they're mostly just killed for their fins, which is really sad. It's such a wasteful practice that you would kill a beautiful, important apex predator and literally only use 5% of it. Just getting in the water with these animals uh, really uh, helps people to fall in love and get people to fall in love with an animal. They understand it more and they want to do something to protect it. That's something that I want to continue to exist for future generations. Welcome to Hong Kong an amusement park of a city with endless ways to get around. For starters, the world's largest fleet of double-decker trams. Here on the top level, you've got a front row seat to one of the world's most vibrant cities as the tram winds its way through the heart of Hong Kong. Ancient and modern collide here especially on the Star Ferry. In operation for nearly 130 years, these boats crisscross Victoria Harbour day and night. It's one of the world's best views, for less than 50 cents a ticket. To escape the city, head to nearby Lantau Island, where one of the world's largest seated Buddhas presides over the mountains. To get here, just jump in a glass-bottomed gondola. One could argue whether this mode of transportation was necessary for Hong Kong. But you have to admit, it's a pretty great way to travel. Download the USA Today app to experience every episode of Virtually There. You can also subscribe on YouTube. See you next time.